On the morning of the match, London is flooded with 10,000 German supporters out to enjoy themselves. In Sharabang, seeing the sights, going to cinemas and buying presents for the families they've left behind. In the centre of the West End, they stop the traffic by sheer force of numbers, determined to see as much as they can before going off to White Hart Lane for the match. We must give them their due. They were an orderly crowd. There was no shouting or flag-waving. They didn't even wear favours. One thing was in everyone's mind. They were hoping that the drizzling rain would lay off before the afternoon and ensure that there'd be a really great match. And their hopes are fulfilled. For although the afternoon isn't exactly fine, at least there's no rain to damp the enthusiasm of the 10,000 Germans and 50,000 British supporters pouring through the White Hart Lane turnstiles. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? You can always tell a good Nazi by his cap. Inside the ground, they're packed as tight as sardines as the teams come out together, a German and an Englishman side by side. Our men are in blue and the visitors in the usual British white jerseys. There are the two goalkeepers and then the Swedish referee. First comes the important ceremony of saying Heil, and then England wins the toss and chooses sides. So Germany's Karl Hohmann kicks off. There he goes. Straight away, the Germans make a fine drive at the British goal, but our backs stand firm. And before long, it's fairly obvious that England is just about on top most of the time. Again and again, they take the ball right up to the German net, but always just failing to put it in. Until two minutes before half-time, when Campbell, from a pass by Bastin, shoots a fizzer to put England one up at half-time. The second half puts the crowd on its toes with a magnificent display of fast and furious football. But always England have just got that little extra something that the others haven't. And the end sees England winners by 3 naught. <laughs>